G'day everybody, how are you going today? It is so good to see you. I do hope that you are super well. And yes, indeed, it's nice and bright here in the studio, but that has nothing to do with the weather. It's got to do with the lighting. And today, we are talking about this light right here. This is the Colbor CL60. This is a lot of light in a little package. Let's get straight into it. The Colbor CL60 is a new addition to the very crowded lighting scene. So what is it that's better or of interest about this particular light? Well, I think one of the most exciting things for me is the size. It is super small, so that is point number one. Point number two is that it uses a USB-C connector to supply the power. So anything with enough power coming via USB-C, and that of course can be some batteries as well, doesn't need to be mains power, which varies wherever you are in the world. For example, here in Australia, it's 240 volts. You can do things via USB-C instead, and that's a great advantage to a lot of the other lights that I've tested, which use DIN plugs, Sometimes they use just a normal everyday sort of round plug of which there are so many types in the world. But to have a USB-C plug is absolutely fantastic. But there's another thing I love about the design, which is one of the reasons I was interested in talking about this light, and that is it's modular. You can actually mount extra lights using this tongue and groove style system. And then you can create an array of lights, which are all controlled via Bluetooth, and then you have a massive array of lights. What I love about this system is it's modular, it's easy to plug in, and it's small. Now, one light on its own, you might not think is enough power, but let me give you an idea of how much power it is. We are using one of these lights right now up there, and I would say it's two meters away from me. I'm shooting on a 50 mil lens, which is stopped down to 1.8, and we are running at 64 ISO at a 50th of a second. So that means you can absolutely shoot something like this. To give you an idea, this is what the light looks like naked. There is nothing on it. There is not even this little reflector dish here. Now, it's able to be coupled to this here, which is a standard Bowens mount. And you can see there, that's the Bowens style mount. If you've got lots of different Bowens lighting control, then this is great because this will work standard with Bowens. Now we can see here, that it's very small. And we're just gonna pop that on there. What comes in the box is the light, the power supply, the adapter, and the reflector dish, fantastic. And you get this little soft bag, which is you know pretty nice for carrying things around. The Calvins go from 2700 Calvins all the way out to 6500 Calvins, and it has a CRI rating of 97 plus. So this is gonna work in plenty of places. But why I loved these and why I tried them was because they're just so small. I mean, that is basically the size of my hand, which is fantastic. Now I have largest hands, but it's absolutely awesome. Let's just see it from behind here. And there it is from the back. So it's got very basic controls. Now we do have Bluetooth control. Okay, so we're starting at intensity of 30%. Uh, we're gonna go up to 100% and you'll see the light gets brighter. Back to 30%. This is all being done by the phone app. Then we're going from 2700 Kelvins all the way through to 6500 Kelvins. And then we can control different modes. Now these are modes just to emulate like a thunderstorm or whatever. Let's go to bonfire, which is going to change the color temperature. Of course, it's gonna look better when you're not looking at the light. This is lightning and faulty bulb, pulsing, candlelight, and if you want to make that a warmer candle, then you can dial it up. Again, this is all happening from the app. So there we go, and this is running at 30% intensity. Pretty cool. Back to 100% and back to 6500 color temperature. There we have it. 
Now we can see on the back here, we've got our set light, our rate light, our effects light, and the CCT light. Now you've got the basic functions that we see in these sorts of lights, which is you've got some special effects and obviously you can control white balance and brightness. Now, I quite like these dials here for changing the color temperature. We get a nice big display and you just hold your finger on it. So we can see here the dial at the bottom is color temperature and it cruises around in 100s or you press it and it jumps in bigger steps, which is just great. And then the same here, we can go all the way down to zero, all the way up in tens, or we can do very little steps, or we can press it in and we can jump around in quarters. So it's, it's quite ergonomic. I think the build quality to me feels quite good. The CL60 is a bi-color, high CRI, COB, LED light that runs off USB-C. And this means that you can run off batteries if you have the right type of battery and cable. This is awesome. Now I love the body, the body feels great and it's metallic, it's not plastic. It is made out of aerospace grade aluminium or aluminium, depending on where you come from in the world. And the unit is only 550 grams, so that is pretty awesome that it's that light. Now as I stated at the start, this 65 watt light can actually be put together. They can literally be slid together into a matrix of up to 10 lights to deliver 650 watts of power. So you can basically make a giant powerful light by putting multiples of these together. And I love this idea. I love the sort of Lego approach to being able to build your lighting array, your lighting system. And this can be as modular as you want or need it to be. It's great. Cold War have what they call their hummingbird cooling system, which keeps this light super quiet. And they say it's less than 20 decibels when running in quiet mode. And it can do this for a full day of shooting. With my experience with these lights, I am yet to hear them come on and for the fans to run. Maybe they do run and I just don't notice it. Power wise, we can use PD power bank, PD adapter, V mount batteries, and even NPF batteries, all with the right connectors. And to quickly run through the specs, on the color rendering index, it's 97 plus. Color temperature ranges from 27 to 6,500 kelvins. The beam angle with the reflector is 120 degrees and without the reflector, it is 15 degrees, which is what we're using right here. The output is 60 watts. The maximum power usage is 80 watts. The voltage is 20 volt, four amps. Illumination is 2,888 lux at one meter when you have no reflector. And it's 20,240 lux at one meter with the reflector. The connector is type C, supports PD 3.0, 20 volt, four amp. The body material is aluminium alloy and ABS. The dimensions of the light are 140 by 80 by 90 millimeters, not including the base here. The light weighs 550 grams and the base is a further 160 grams. So this is very light and very small. And it likes to work in temperatures from minus 10 to 50 degrees centigrade. That's pretty hot. Now, if you'd like to buy one of these lights, they come in at around 150 US dollars per light with the bag, with the reflector, with the adapter, with the power supply, and with the cable that you need for your region. And I can see here on Amazon today, it's 228 Australian dollars to get one of these. There are so many lighting opportunities out there in the market today. There are just heaps and heaps. And if you're wanting to start up a, just a little starter studio, because you can obviously use these for video, you can also use them for stills as well, either or. This is an extraordinarily affordable way to get yourself one, two, or three lights to start your kit. And then of course it's modular. And I love anything which I can take out into the field and run off batteries because I love doing these sorts of things in the field just as much as I love doing them in the studio. So this is something that really appeals to me, that it's a go anywhere system. Totally fantastic. So please do let me know in the comments below, is this the sort of light for you? Is this something that you would use? I'd love to hear.
If you are interested in purchasing some of these lights, please do check out the link below. In this case, it is an affiliate link. So a very small part of that sale will come back to the channel and just help us keep on keeping on which we love. All right, well look, if this is your first time here, I'd love to see you again, so please do subscribe, please share, and please like, and bye for now.